dear audience and spectators you are welcome to the channel uh, today uh, i'm going to discuss on fiction non fiction and meta fiction please stay with us first of all uh, we are going to talk about fiction fiction is an imaginative work it's a made up story which is usually written in prose form it covers an story uh, which can be the outcome of imagination rather than a documentation of fact uh, characters and events in such a narrative may be best in real life but their ultimate form and configuration is a creation of the author himself or herself fiction includes invented work usually a prose narrative that can be noble or short story that reports incidents that did not in fact occur at any rate it does not normally cover poetry and drama though both are a form of fiction in that they are molded and contrived or let's say feigned fiction is a name for stories not entirely factual but at least partially set made of imagine it is opposite to thing done which is called fact as it is thing made that is fiction it's true that in some fiction such as a historical uh, novel writer draws upon factual information in presenting scenes events and characters fiction is now used to mean the novel very short story to the novella and related genres like fantasy mystery horror thriller adventure uh, hard science future stories history history embedded narratives legends myths allegories folklores fables parables so many so all these are broadly categorized uh, under fiction because they contain fictional qualities fictional elements that element of imagination element of the world that is imagine and the world that is up to writers handling of the ways how uh, events happen how characters speak how they interact what sort of language they choose and they speak and how does the story end all this come under uh, the work of fiction it's the power of writer uh, to create such atmosphere to create such language uh, to make the language suitable for the characters uh, for the, the events uh, for the situation or um, creating the tone or atmosphere uh, using figures of speech and making language embellished all these depend on the power of writer power of the author um, to work with the language to work with the imagine to work with uh, his power of expressions after all non fiction these days non fiction is very popular like fiction and many readers are choosing the works of non fiction and they they want to increase the knowledge they want to know different reality is behind events they want to know writer's expression uh, most of these are based on facts written in prose non fiction is an account of a subject which is presented as fact it is thing done rather than thing made the presentation may be accurate or not that is it can give either a true or false account of the subject in question whereas fiction takes the readers on imaginative flights of fancy non fiction brings you back down to earth non fiction includes true stories about people uh, places experiences historical facts and ideas practical informative writing expository writing personal essays uh, biographies and autobiographies 
uh, letters, especially personal letters, articles, textbooks, uh, treatises, reports, manuals, encyclopedias, research articles, etc. And all these attempt to persuade you. The power of convincing this uh, work is really true. And the, these facts are really true. There's the power of writer to persuade you uh, to believe what he or she has written. And it's, it's the power how resourceful he is or how resourceful she is how he or she has gathered the materials or collected the materials and presented them uh, in the form of non-fiction. So this is the power of the author, power of the writer uh, to present facts, to present events that really happen. And how he or she has presented depends on the worthiness of the work of non-fiction. It is the power of the work that makes it the landmark in the history of such genre. It's the power of the writer, the use of language, the use of facts, figures and truths and the use of the people, uh, making them speak what really happened, how it happened and all this come under non-fiction. After discussing on non-fiction and fiction, uh, let's talk about metafiction. There is a prefix meta added before fiction. So, it's a part of fiction. It's clear. But what kind of fiction is it? It's a fiction that is about fiction. Metafiction is work of fiction that is about fiction, that talks about fiction, that talks about writing a fiction, choosing of characters, uh, and uh, talking about the narratives, what type of narrative the writer is choosing, what type of character he or she has chosen, rather than relate a narrative that is intended to mirror reality, metafiction calls attention to its own status as fiction and to the strategies through which it was constructed by its author. It is in a systematic way the writer's process of tell telling. It's the process writer's process of narrating events. The concerns of metafiction extend into broader territory insofar as such narratives uh, reflect on how people create meaning for themselves by self-consciously inventing roles and stories. Metafiction is self-conscious about language, literary form and storytelling. It's self-conscious about the choosing of characters, a choice of plots and the conclusions or inning, what type of inning? Elements of metafiction can be traced in literature. In English literature, elements of metafiction can be traced in Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales to the present day John Barr's short story collection Lost in the Fun House. And there are so many writers who have adopted metafiction as a form of narrative. Uh, after discussing about fiction, non-fiction and metafiction, it's time to uh, conclude today's session and I would like you to put your comments what you have really felt in my comment box if you have any queries regarding the discussion and I would like you to request if this channel is worthy watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe it. Thank you so much for being part of this discussion.